Out with the old, in with the new. That's right, let's go hop aboard the Macahoodle, which now, I believe, has everything on board. Now we moved these guys uh, on the last one, so they were already here. But what was not here, and I can show you pretty quickly, is that we did not have this constructor full of uh, all its constructory goodness, and also that uh, these guys here, well, <laughs> probably not any of them. Here, let me see if maybe one of these ones. I'm just curious, because I have no idea which ones I renamed. Because, uh, yes, I, I did, in fact, rename some. Oh, huh. Interesting. Well, apparently they are all still Cargo Box 3, and I don't know what in the world I renamed. That actually does make me wonder. Uh, but, anyway, I can show you a little bit of what I did here. We have some Cargo Boxes that are indeed renamed. Now, one, two, three. So there's six of those? So one of these has to be renamed, because I can do math. Unless they're, they're not that tall, are they? Maybe they are? Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, there's Cargo Box 3. No, you're not. You are Ors and Ingots. I know that because I renamed you. And you are not that either. You're Guns and Ammo Large. Anyway, as I was kind of saying, I did rename a few things so that things are kind of sorted. Now, as you can see, because I was busy moving my entire inventory, uh, this is honestly kind of a mess in here. So... If you'll forgive me for just a moment, I'm going to grab a couple of guns. Um, we need the drill, probably, because I always like to have one of those. I like having a... You know what? I, I will stop carrying the color tool. By guess, just because. And instead, we'll carry that epic plasma cannon. That thing was kind of ridiculous. Uh, but kind of not. I kind of hated it, and yet I kind of loved it. I don't know. It's, um, it's a mystifying thing, is what it is. Grab some ammo. Grab some ammo. We'll stick with that for now. That looks like enough and some shoddy, and the rest of the stuff can just kind of chill in there. But, oh, actually, you know what, here, I, I probably should carry this guy around, just because that seems like a good thing. And then we can go into supplies here, and I just kind of figured supplies will just kind of be a generic thing. And in fact, here, I like, I like having these right in those spots. Why? I don't know. I got, I got nothing. What, what do you want from me? I don't know. I just like to have them there. I do. I don't know why. Here, I'll put a couple of antidote pills in here, just for giggles. I don't know. We don't really need them, I don't think. Probably not going to need them today at the very least. I mean, I, I don't I don't know for certain. Uh, but anyhow, the rest of the stuff has moved around. One thing I was kind of surprised by, and I guess I, I would need to take a closer look to understand why, but this warp drive tank sure holds a lot, unless, unless something was updated along the way and that thing now holds a lot more. I don't know, that was kind of news to me. Oh man, there are so many weapons on here. I don't even know what all to use. Um, 150 homing missile CV. Maybe those will actually work then. Oh, that would be fantastic. I did end up taking all of the ammo. Oh yeah, those are going to work. Off of uh the old home. Actually, while we're here, you know what? Let's go ahead and rename this to new home. Because this, this is now home. And yes, I know I, I could theoretically check uh, a box that says home, but it's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Old home, new home. <laughs> I don't know. I got issues. What can I say? I like doing that sort of silly stuff. Uh, but we do have a bunch of guns on here, which means we probably need to make a crap ton of ammunition. And I figured I would just go ahead and start in here. Let's see. What do we need? Uh, let's just do some... I, I did kind of transfer enough for the cannons, but we will probably need some um, pulse laser charge... CV, where are you? Pulse laser charge CV. Wow, what is that going to take? Some metal, some electronics, and some fuel packs. All right, well, let's just go ahead and blast out some of those. My hope is that I can do something like, um, well, well, here, let's let's go ahead and do this. Let me grab uh, this guy right here, because then I can just go ahead and take you over here and just make a bunch of... Uh, let me just make a bunch of regular fuel packs because that's what I'm going to need over here, right? It's just some regular fuel packs. So the idea is maybe I can, you know, get this guy to crank out some fuel packs or whatever we need. And then, you know, I can just do something like uh, take those guys. I can drop them in here. Now, obviously, this is not necessarily the fastest way to do things, running back and forth and all that jazz. But, you know, it's one less thing for this guy to create because it has some fuel packs ready to go. And, you know, we don't have to do fuel packs. It can be anything, really. It doesn't It doesn't matter what it is. It's just we have two constructors now, and I've, I've actually given some thought to putting maybe a third one and a fourth one over here just 
to have ones that just do nothing but crunch ingots or you know crunch ore that sort of thing. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure how I want to handle that at this point. Uh, I did do a little thinking here that it might be kind of fun to play with another ship just for giggles. We have the Avenger already. The Storm might be kind of fun to play with. The Manta dropship I think would be kind of fun to play with. But you know I'm okay with this for right now. I I do complain that it's not the most uh, maneuverable vessel around, and it's not. Don't get me wrong, it, it definitely isn't, but it, it's not terrible. I mean, we've we've made pretty good do with it, and in fact, it was kind of, um, oh, you know what, I forgot to grab some food. It was it was kind of the key to destroying the, uh, all the, the emplacements around the, what was that place? The, hmm, the Xeon, Xenon Fortress, Xenu, Xenu Fortress. Holy cow, I had to think about what that one was. Anyway, I wanted to grab some food. There we go, grab some food. I don't know that I want to do anything else at this point. I've kind of given some thought to maybe I should just, I don't know, tear this thing apart and use it for parts. But honestly, if we're going to create anything else that's even remotely large, I'm just going to cheat at this point and, you know, creative mode it in just to, just to play with stuff. And I don't even think we really need to do that. But the only remaining thing I could do is I could come through here and do one last farming run with you. And we can grab all of these guys that I never even used to begin with, which is kind of hilarious. And I don't know, maybe I'll go plant everything. Maybe, maybe that's what we should do. We should go plant everything on the new one and actually use it. That's a novel idea. Maybe I should do that and actually, you know, carry some decent food around or something. But I don't know. I mean, at this point... Uh, this ship, I think we're pretty much done. If I if I look in it, it's basically empty of everything. I'm fairly positive I did not miss anything. And, I mean, the only thing I really left in here is I left a couple of fuel packs in this guy. And that is one remaining fuel pack, which I think I'll just leave that as one last one as kind of a, a farewell for this particular vessel, which has served us quite well. I mean, I did think about maybe grabbing that cargo box. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab the cargo box. That's actually, that is a good idea. I, I think I should go ahead and do that. We don't need to, of course. We don't need to do this. But I figure since I do have the turret, the drill turret still, we can just go ahead and grab that and, uh, you know, we can maybe pop it on on new home and it'll be okay. But at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the lights out so that we can let it continue to run as long as it may. But we're pretty much going to abandon home and leave it right here, kind of like we left that base the last time around on, uh, hmm, whatever that beginning planet was. I don't even remember. Do you remember, Cat? She doesn't remember, I don't think. I don't know. Anyway, it's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and throw ship parts. Let's throw you in there, and then we can go ahead and back up here. It is kind of nice, I must say. It is kind of nice that I, I took the time here to label everything. Not, it's not nice that I took the time to label everything. The end result of that is kind of nice, just, just to be clear on that. Uh, let's go over here. You're probably about done. Yeah, you're, you're totally done. And you're done over here, too. I kind of feel like maybe I should just rip out a few more of these guys because there are so many lasers on this particular vessel that it's probably not a bad idea to just pop out a few more of these guys just for giggles. Here, we'll do that way. We can just let that run. I think we have we have enough fuel in this thing. Eight hours. I didn't even show you. Man, this is nuts. This is totally bonkers. I mean, okay, so box number one is full of hydrogen, which is garbage. Box number two is full of large fuel packs entirely. Box number three is mostly full of large ones, but a few hydrogen. And then I didn't touch anything else from there. Oh, no, I did. Wow, look at that. I have more. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That takes a lot to fill these tanks. I am not going to lie to you about that. Holy cow, that that takes a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. And I think, theoretically, uh, I guess while I'm here, let me hit that constructor again. Let me just... No, I can leave you open. I'm not used to having multiple constructors and having a, a group for them. That was just kind of funny to me. Like, oh yeah, there's a group for these guys. I probably shouldn't put everything in there, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, oh, crud. I need laser charge, too. 
Uh, just well, maybe that one is the right one for. Oh, crud. Oh, crud, crud, crud. Pulse laser turret. You need LS charge CV. Okay, so good. So our turrets can use those at least, even. Well, here, can I. What did I make then? What in the heck did I put together? L. Oh, I made plasma charge. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Holy cow. All right, that's, that's not at all what I meant to make. I meant to make laser charge. Where's my laser charge CV? Oh, man. That was, that was silliness right there. Well, let's do a couple of those and a couple of those. And now I feel like an idiot. And we'll drop back to this guy and have you make some more fuel packs because apparently now I need a bunch of fuel packs. And that means I have all of this stuff. Oh man, all of these things are just let me take all those out. Those are just those are just junk now. I guess I can use them as scrap for something, or we could put a plasma turret on here, I guess. Ah, uh, don't I feel silly. I I just totally read that wrong. I have no excuse for that. I just I read it wrong. Oh boy. That's that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Alright, let's um can I, can I back out of the turret? There we go. Switch to this guy. I can at least reload my rocket launchers. I mean, it's only a few missiles, really. I don't, I don't really have many rockets, but ah, uh, that's a, that's a shame there. I, I feel dumb. It's all right. I'll get over it. I'm not gonna sweat it. You do dumb things from time to time, and you just, you know, roll with the punches, as they say. Um. Did I turn this thing off? No. So, oh, I didn't turn the, I didn't turn the constructor back on. Jeez, my goodness. Speaking of doing dumb things, well, that gives me a moment to grab all of those guys, though. So, you know, it all kind of works out in a sense. And I'll throw those back in there since you are essentially uh, considered to be <laughs> part of ammunition these days. Anyway, we're just going to let that cook for a little while. I'm going to just take that 100. And it's, it's not a big deal. I don't need to reload everything the way it probably should be. Um, those are laser charged too anyway, so it won't even matter. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We will leave home behind, which seems kind of weird to say. And I'm going to fly with my, with my tail hanging out there. I don't mind that. That's okay with me. So I want to basically... Hello. All right. Whatever was going on there, I guess uh, I guess the the cannons took care of it. That's that's good. So I think what I would like to do is first make a trip over to the iron deposit. How quickly does this guy move? Wow, look at that. We are we are sort of moving. Sort of moving. It's not too shabby. You know, I mean, what do you expect? We're on we're on a planet with pretty high gravity, so it's all good. Four and a half minutes of power. That is obscene. 4.4 minutes of power. This thing is not meant to be blown around on the surface. Clearly, I mean, with all of these thrusters going, I think what I'm going to need to do, actually... Here, let me do it this way. I, I, I can't actually maintain this power usage. That's obscene. Here, let's go ahead and set this guy down. And we'll do... We'll do what actually makes sense for once. I know, that might seem foreign to you when you're talking about watching me, but we'll do what makes sense for, for a change. And we'll actually take the space roach out, which I should be able to sneak by everything here. And then we should be able to just zoom right over here. Let's see, where are you? You're up the hill a little. We'll come back to new home. Don't worry, we're not leaving that. It's all right. Oh, no, you're this one. You're this one? You're this one. Okay, good. And we'll go ahead and just pop down right here. That looks fantastic. That's a good spot. And just go ahead and access you. 521. Um, can I take all these guys back? I would like to recover them because I don't think I... Actually, you know what I can do? I think I can just do that. That actually works just fine. Um, sure, we'll go ahead and take that. That works for me. I just needed to pick it up instead of unload everything. I forgot about that. Oh, look at that. I I need to put a new 
light block in this guy too. All my light, my spotlight cubes just have been absolutely obliterated. So we should have a few more ore just ready to go over here. Well, it'll kind of be promethium ore, not iron ore, but that's okay. And I really probably should spend some time gutting the magnesium and I don't know, maybe we could come back and do that, but oh, I just, I kind of want to get off this planet. Now the problem is we're going to hit space and then not be able to go very far because I don't actually have enough pentaxid to do anything. I did find one pentaxid in the water, um, but that's about it. I've not really made a point of looking for pentaxid. Cat, you are going to fall off. You are just, you are, there you go. You, you got it? You got it? You didn't, you didn't scratch me up, thankfully, but um, my goodness. Here, I'll just take these out because I did on the other side. I don't know. I got nothing. And then uh, we should be able to pick you up. Come on. Pick it up. There we go. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to be kind of stuck in here, aren't I? With my luck. All right. I need to not be in that mode because I hate it. I hate how slow it is to, to move around. I don't like how it respawns. That's kind of annoying. Cat. Speaking of annoying. Speaking of annoying. How are you doing, kitty? Um, not land in the hole. I knew I was close. Didn't think I was that close. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's see what happens if I do it that way. Okay, I thought you might just drop a, a drop container for me. That's much better. I much prefer that. That's okay. Wait a moment here. Grab some more jetpack fuel. Jetpack energy, really. And then, um, try not to fall in again. Uh, let me out, let me out! Okay, and then where's the other one? Over here-ish. Somewhere over here, there we go. Promethium deposit, 81% remaining. And I know, I could have just left these guys lying around in here, and honestly, that's probably what I... You know what? I'll, I'll do that with this one. Uh, it's too late. I've already picked up the others. I'm not going to go back and place them again. I was I wasn't thinking quite right, but that's okay. But I will go ahead and leave this one, and in fact we'll just do that. We'll go ahead and load that one up with all the fuel from the others and we'll leave this one running. So, should we return to this planet? Not that I think we will, but should we return to this planet? I would love to know if that actually is still working. Assuming you haven't already told me on another episode, because that very well could be the case. And, uh, you know me, I record in batches, and especially right now, because I actually have some stuff going on and I needed to record a bunch. But that's okay. So somewhere around here, way back here, new home, all the way back there, wow. Covered a lot of ground in a short, short amount of time there, didn't we, kitty? We're going to go ahead and head back to New Home, and then I think we're going to take to the stars. Cat, get excited. Get excited. Get excited. She's like, stop petting me, you jerk. All right, New Home, you're you're somewhere around over here. All right, good. I got to say, I am really digging those hangar doors. Those, those are awesome. Or it's awesome since there's really only one, but you know what I mean, right? Right, good. Pretty cool looking vessel too, I mean really. We just take a moment to kind of spin around and look at everything. Pretty cool stuff. I dig it. I really truly dig it. Alright, let's go back inside. Interesting that the doors are or the door is still open. It has not automatically closed. That is uh that is curious, I would say. Curious. Alright, we can go ahead and just run over here and close it. I, I don't want any uh I don't know. Galactic thieves to, to run in or something. Hmm. I bet you none of you got that reference. Mischievous. Let's see. No, that's not right. What is it? Mischievous. Galactic elves. Oh, never mind. I can't even get my references right. Never mind. Pretend I said nothing for the last 18 seconds or so. You know, let's go ahead and hit the constructor before we get running. We're going to drop you in there. Got a bunch of standard and other charge and then we should have a few of those guys ready to go drop them in here thank you very kindly we'll go to our ammo box and drop all of these guys in there here we go and we should be able to recharge this bad boy now 
Can I shoot this one on the planet? No, I cannot. But this one, I... Can I shoot this one? I still can't shoot that one. All right. So I can shoot none of those, even though they are... They are uh, standard guns and not turrets. That's kind of a shame. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit the stars. Let's get out of this gravity field, otherwise known as, well, gravity. And uh, let's go ahead and get out to the stars, and I'm probably going to have to hit the moon. I suspect that's going to be the case. We're going to have to make a stop at the moon so we can collect some some uh, pentaxid. Then we can make some fuel, and uh, we have one last thing we kind of need to do. But let's see where we are in here. All right. Look at that. I have a whole 10 minutes of fuel now. This is obscene. Masper on moon. Let's see. That is the planet, most obviously. And then the moon. No? Are you the moon? You're the planet. So is the moon on the other side here? Looks like it is. Something I would really like to do before we wrap this series, too. Since uh, I know Alpha 6 is kind of coming pretty soon. I'd really love to capture a freighter just to see what sort of junk we get from it. That sounds like a lot of fun. But I remember them being quite intimidating, so that may or may not happen. I'm not really sure. Or if I turn off my lights, does that help? That gives me an extra 0.2 minutes. 0.1 minutes? Actually didn't change anything. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Nope. It didn't. I'm going to leave my lights on then because they look pretty. Actually, I don't know what that flashing one is. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, I need to get to the moon so we can get some pentaxid so we can get out of here. Um, and then we will rejoin uh, probably on the moon on the next one because, you know, that seems like the thing to do. So I'll see you on the moon on the next one. Till then, thanks for watching. Cat, say goodbye. See you later.